chili cheese nachos and hot dogs y'all we big backing it up in here <laughs> big back big back yes they're really delicious who want a yummy bite y'all know y'all want some and we are drinking orange vanilla flavored water today this literally tastes like a orange creamsicle yummy delicious who want a yummy bite mmm What's up, Yummy Vice? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Vice TV. Y'all already see it. it's about to go down, y'all. We are drinking, what is this? Orange vanilla flavored water today. Uh huh. Yes, y'all. Mmm. Mm hmm. Delicious. Happy weekend, y'all. It's about to be on and popping. Let's pray. Amen. Who is ready for this mother flipping muck? Bang. All right. This is what you call big back tings. I already know I'm being a big back. <laughs> oh my God. Come on. Oh God, look at this. Mm. Chili cheese, hot dog. Mm. Mm. I ain't had a regular hot dog in a minute. This is delicious. Mmm. Oh my god. These taste taste like um oh my god. Mmm. This is like fair nachos. Mmm. The good ones. Mmm. <laughs> and I have a beef winner. It ain't nothing better. They're a beef winner. Nothing. Mm hmm. Mm. That's where the onions set it off. This is too good. Mmm. 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 
Mm-hmm. I'm just about to tell y'all something. <laughs> Did y'all hear about the little eight-year-old girl who hopped in her mama's car, y'all, and went to Target, girl? <laughs> Somebody caught a video of her driving the car. Believe it. This girl went all the way to Target on memory. So her mama must go to Target all the time. And the only thing that happened on her way there is she hit a mailbox. She said she hit a mailbox. Um, but the police have it on um on their dash cam, right? <laughs> She was swerving in and out of lanes, y'all. That, like, I wonder what made her do that. We still haven't found that out. People so busy laughing. I mean, she should be punished for the rest of her life. I would be so mad. So mad and then so glad that she... Didn't end up hurting herself. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God. Mmm. What y'all would have done? <laughs> and this little girl is famous now. I mean, then, y'all, she took $400 from the house. How did she know where the money was in the house? $400 and went on a $400 shopping spree, y'all. <laughs> then, after the shopping spree, honey, she was so tired, honey, she had to get her a freaking uh, coffee, a, a latte, some type of drink, y'all. And when the um, police... Came up on her at Target. She was sitting down just drinking her little drink, y'all. I wonder if they're going to get an interview with her. They probably not. Her mama probably not going to let her do that. That? Because they can't, like, make it to where this is something good that she did. You know what I mean? So, that's probably all we gonna know. Mm. Y'all, this chili, honey. I made this from scratch. Because if Jaden's chili didn't have beans in it, I could have just ate that, but I can't have beans. Mm. So apparently, y'all, Diddy's lawyer has exhausted um mm, all chances of um him bailing out did he bailing out he's not gonna be able to bail out he's offered up his entire freaking life um 
to bail out and the judge is saying absolutely not um they say he's in a special place over at the jail he's already admitted all that y'all and his lawyer was talking about he he's standing in humane conditions yeah it probably is inhumane for him <laughs> That's probably something regular for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to sit on cement, freaking benches, or whatever you call them. They are cement, baby. So, for those first couple of days that you in jail, that's what you laying on. That's what you sleeping on. <laughs> until they give you, you know, until they uh, take you to where all the inmates are. Mm. But I know he's had to go to jail before. Like, come on. So he should know how it is. He ain't gonna be able to get used to that food though. Oh my God. He probably gonna be trying to get commissary. But I heard that he, they, they don't have him around anybody else. Like he's in a special unit, you know. Cause people feel that if they put him around anybody else, he's not gonna make it. Mm, y'all this is good, no more. Did y'all see um, Kamala on um, Oprah's show? I don't know. I, I thought Oprah didn't have a show anymore, but maybe this was a special or something. She was on there, and um, Oprah was just telling everybody. She was like, I didn't see the whole interview, but Oprah was telling everybody, you know, if you're a person that's undecided and you know, she was just talking about all the people, you know, who don't know who they're going to vote for. And she was like, the time is now. <laughs> I know, that's right. The time is freaking now. There's no more time to freaking think, like, figure it out. <laughs> I haven't had a hot dog in years. But I said, if I made the hot dog, it's going to have to be all beef. Oh, y'all, yeah, I'm getting full. Mm. And I have to be um, done before a certain time, y'all, because y'all, I've been getting jewelry orders, honey. Okay? And I have to ship them mugs out. I don't like for people waiting a whole, a, a long time, you know, to get anything from me. Um, so, I have to be finished before, um, what time is it? Okay. Yeah, I literally got about 30 more minutes before I gotta go. Mmm. Mm. That hot dog is so good. Big bag, big bag. 
Girl was big back in the day, honey. Nachos and hot dogs, girl. This is one of them days. This is one of them weekends. <clears throat> Do y'all hear my house? It's so peaceful. Like, I just... I don't know what it is, y'all, about my peace that I need now that I've gotten older. Mm. I literally yearn for it. See if I can get a couple of these. Um, did y'all hear what happened to that judge in his chambers? Girl. Well, well, well. Well. Judge Kevin Mullins, y'all, out of Kentucky. And this is Prophet P.I. right here talking. The sheriff. Mickey Steins. They're up there in Letcher County in Kentucky. This just happened not too long ago today up there in Kentucky and this sheriff went to the district judge's office and unalived him. Unalived him, y'all. Literally. He just unalived him. A it sheriff. It seemed like it was personal. That's what it seemed like. He went into his chambers, y'all, in his office. In his chambers! I know his office and his chambers is dang near the same thing, but I'm trying to get y'all to understand what this fool did. A sheriff did this a sheriff for you to go to the courthouse to the district judge's office and unalive him wow he's in custody y'all he's he's sitting right down the jail that he put other people in letcher county con uh, coroner confirming to us a death in the shooting at the letcher county courthouse the mount eagle is reporting that the letcher county sheriff mickey steins has been arrested following a shooting there at the letcher county courthouse the mount eagle reports steins allegedly shot a district judge kevin mullins in his office at the courthouse we know several area schools were placed on a lockdown this afternoon due to that shooting we are working to learn more details we do have a crew in route to that scene on their way to letcher county prayers go out to his family really does but like i said this seemed like it was personal for somebody to go up to your office of the sheriff to go to your house and unalive you hopefully we'll find out why it happened. and just throw your life away you're the sheriff and you just threw your life away you knew you were gonna throw your life away but you did that so that had to be personal now i don't want to tell y'all what i heard the judge did allegedly I'm going to let somebody else tell you. Um, let's see. Is this it? Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, I got to tell y'all about that, too. Oh, y'all, it's so much news. Like, it's so much stuff going on. It is in freaking sane. I'll tell y'all what I heard, because this is what I heard, allegedly. That the judge was messing around with his wife and his daughter. Allegedly. I do not know if that's true. I don't know. Um, but we'll get some updates, I'm sure. But that is what's going around. Okay? It might be a lie. It might be a lie. Anyway. Um, so, y'all. A teacher was arrested. Because one of her students went home and told the parents... My fingers hurt. My finger hurts, right? So they took the baby to the doctor, y'all. And the doctor said, um, your baby's fingers are, um, some of them are fractured. Fractured, y'all. Can you imagine? And, I love y'all, my nails got chilly on the dried up chilly at that. I can't. And so, 
the parents, I guess they asked, you know, who who did that, you know, or whatever. Anyway, they went up to the school, found out, because we're going to make a long story short, found out that the teacher did it, y'all, and she said she did it out of self-defense. I think I would have lost it. I, I think that they would have had to say that I, I, I lost it for a minute there. Like, I went crazy. I went bonkers. Y'all, I think I would have snapped if I was anywhere close to uh, that teacher when she said that. Girl, against a freaking five-year-old? You broke my baby's fingers, you wench? Are you, girl, can you imagine? Girl, can you imagine? <laughs> I would have handled that myself. I ain't even gonna lie. I would have. I would have forget. I was about to say a cuss word. Forget that principal, y'all. I would have been going to jail. I would have been going to jail. I would have, and I, you know, sometimes people handle things <laughs> different ways. How would y'all have handled that? How would y'all have handled y'all's child? You finding out that your the his teacher. Broke your child's fingers in self-defense? I don't even want to know what the five-year-old did. I don't even want to know. Listen to this, y'all. Have you heard this story? And we're hearing from a Pflugerville parent who says a teacher broke his five-year-old son's finger. Today, police arrested that That's teacher, teacher, and she's no longer working in the school district. KVU's Darren Isha Heron has new details about the investigation. Our most... Greatest fear was they better sue that uh, district. That, that happened. Dante and Tabitha Moore say on September 4th, their five-year-old son, who has autism, came home from Pflugerville Elementary in pain. I kept it very general. What happened? She broke my head. She bent my head back. And I said, oh, she bent it back. This is Meryl. I said, do y'all remember that in school? We used to do that to each other. Didn't we? I remember the like the bending the hand back thing. I remember that very vividly for some reason. Um, why? Why did she do that? Why did she bend his hand back? Girl, oh, it just, it burns me up. I'm so serious. That 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 like you putting your hands on somebody else's child. That burns me up like I would never put my hands on somebody's child nobody's freaking child are you how dare you girl that is crazy did you teach her he said yes it's it's broken he said the school did not notify them about any incidents that day. Later that night, an x-ray confirmed a fractured pinky and ring finger on Girl. Noah's right hand. Ooh. This is the kindergartner and a cast. There was definitely a miscarriage in the handle of my child. The school, Pflugerville ISD police, and CPS got involved. Pflugerville oh, y'all. He's autistic. Did they already say that? I'm just not saying it, um, that he's autistic. And she didn't know how to handle an autistic child? Girl, that just made it worse. Ooh. Mm, girl, I'm, she's burning me up. ISD says the kindergarten teacher was immediately placed on leave. You abused our child in the very place that he should have felt safe. Mm -hmm. After an investigation, the district says 31-year-old Mackenzie Merrill is now no longer with the district. She was arrested and is facing a first-degree felony, injury to a child. According to court documents, Merrill told other teachers the child hit her and kicked her in the shins. Okay. Dante says she told investigators it was self-defense. That bitch. Uh, I'm sorry. She's crazy. Three and a half child. According to she court documents, crazy. no school cameras confirmed Noah hit her, but it did show the teacher interacting with his hand. We reached out to Meryl. She did not answer the phone or the door. 
The Moors have since put their son into a different school, but they say the fallout has been too much for him to return. And his home life? He doesn't want to be in his own, his own bed now. They better sue the hell that fear was, it was out of that district. And now we're having to unpack that with our son. In a statement, Pflugerville ISD wrote in part, quote, we remain dedicated to the safety and well-being of our students and will continue to take every measure possible to ensure a safe learning environment, end quote. As for Merrill, the district confirmed she joined the district last year and is not a certified teacher. The she incident has been reported to the TEA. According to court documents, she, bond she bonded out of jail this morning. Oh my God. I don't think she's going to be able to get another teacher job. Is she gonna be able to get in that? No. She has a freaking fel. You can't be a teacher with a felony. She didn't ruin her entire career over thinking she was uh, oh my, bending a, a five year old's handbag. How would, why would you, why? Oh, golly. Do y'all know that people are trying to put Puff Daddy's mama in this? I just disagree. I just really do, y'all. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure his mama wasn't at all in parties. Like, I'm sure. Like, people just be really doing the most sometimes. Honestly, like, they really just do. They be trying. They be doing the most. As I was in the courtroom, I saw... Um... So this lady, she was in the courtroom with Diddy, y'all. And she is, and this is on CBS, y'all. CBS Morning News. Combs was wearing the same clothes for the second straight day in court. When he walked into the hearing, he seemed confident, looked over at his family and waved. But after nearly two hours of listening to both sides, District Judge Andrew Carter Jr. refused to grant Combs bail. The 54-year-old tried for home detention, offering to post a $50 million bond, give up his cell phone and internet access, and even restrict family visitor, female visitors to family and the mothers of his children. But the judge said he had serious concerns about potential witness tampering and sided with prosecutors. Witness the one self-proclaimed bad boy was arrested earlier this week and pleaded not guilty to federal charges of... I feel like if he wanted to do any of that type of stuff he would have did it while he was out he knew about the, him being potentially um being arrested for like six months i heard i heard he's known for like six months so he should have had all of his stuff in order um you know like everything should have been in order and if he wanted to contact somebody he should have been doing it then you know what i'm saying and paying people off and doing all that allegedly you know, I'm not saying he did that. I'm just saying. Sex trafficking, transportation to engage in prostitution and racketeering. The multi-million dollar Grammy winner has lost his most valuable asset, his freedom. He's now being held at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, New York. Combs faces up to life in prison if found guilty at trial. But it could be at least a year before that even begins. Com so that means that he is going to like definitely allegedly be in jail for a prison or whatever you want to call it for a whole year wow and then he could spend life why he's already old so whatever he get is probably gonna be life girl you know who i feel sorry for the kids though i just really do it's so sad those kids are gonna be so hurt. Like, you, and his boys are gonna have to become serious men. Now, I'm pretty sure uh, he's probably already had a talk with them, sat them down. It just the way that Puffy's young son, the dark one, the one that looked just like him, just the way he was walking from the courthouse when everything was over, when their daddy didn't come home. He, he looked like he wanted to cry. He looked like he was really stressed out, and he probably is. And it just looked like in his face, like, okay, I'm going to have to man up. I'm going to have to, you know, take care of all of what needs to be taken care of. You know what I'm saying? Why my dad is gone. I, I got to do this. I have to, I have to take over. 
You know what I'm saying? And I wonder who he has like running all his stuff because don't he still got businesses and stuff and like assets and all that type of stuff? I wonder if he had his mama do that because who else can you trust? You know what I'm saying? I heard that somebody in his camp was snitching on him to the FBI the entire time. Allegedly. Uh, so, yeah. Like, I wouldn't trust nobody but my mama and my freaking kids. That's it. And thank God he has some older, you know, kids. Some adult kids. So, you know, <clears throat> they can handle, you know, all of his affairs and stuff. But I'm pretty sure he left everything to his kids and his mama. <clears throat> But yeah, y'all, this is a freaking trip. Um, and this is Oprah. I just want to say, for all of you watching who are still on the fence, you're in the middle, you're independent as I, I make am. Make sure y'all register to vote. Or whether you just still don't know what you're going to do. Oprah says she's this independent. This is the moment for what does all that mean? decent people, all caring people. Who want the best for yourself and you want the best for other people this is the moment for people who are tired of all of the bickering and all of the name calling people who are exhausted by the craziness yeah. and the made up stories even and oprah the thinks it's crazy this is the moment you want to get on with your life because you know that we can do better and that we deserve better you know this I know you know this. I know you feel this. Mm. I know this is what you're saying amongst yourselves. It's in all the conversations yes, that we're is. having, that you're having. It is. And we're better than this. We're better. We're better. And we want to create a world where our children will be safe in school again. And as my friend and mentor, Maya Angelou, always said, when you know better, you got to do better. Thank you. Boom, so thank you. That's right. Um, y'all, I had just thought of something to freaking say. Oh, I was gonna say that y'all, we don't even know who our neighbors are voting for, and I don't want to know because I don't want to feel different about them. You know what I mean? So, I honestly, I don't want to know what nobody else feel. Honestly, like for the people who are close to me. I don't want to know who they voting for. I really don't because I really feel like I'm going to be looking at them different if they tell me something I don't want to hear. And, I, you know, it's just going to be like, why? Like, what? what? Huh? You know? So I'm going to stay away from that. Stay far, far away. Um. So, y'all. This is Young Lady on the Internet that found out where Miss Netta and Charles get their seasonings, y'all, the company. This girl, I don't know how she found that out, but she literally found the company, called the company, got all kinds of information or whatever, and went and made a video about it. Y'all, sometimes you just gotta let people get their hustle on. You know what I'm saying? Like. Why would you go digging and doing all of that and and then be like, and then tell everybody, you know, how much the seasonings are, um, you know, if you get them straight from that company versus Miss Netta and Charles, right? So apparently the seasonings from the company cost like $6 and you can put your, um, you're going to be using their recipe or whatever, their seasoning mixture but you're gonna put your label on it. So I believe that's called private um, labeling, right? And so that's what Miss Nevin and Charles was doing. Like she didn't come up with the um, with the seasonings, you know, herself or whatever. They went through a company. Um, and apparently they're dry rub seasonings. Like, what, is there something wrong with dry rubs? And she was talking about dry rub seasonings, like there's something wrong with that. And she's selling us dry rub. You know, it's just, man, let folks live sometimes. You know, like they hustling, they trying to make a dollar, obviously. 
And oh, and Miss Ned and Charles tw uh, charge twelve ninety nine, I believe, for each one of their um, seasons. I just I don't know. I just thought it was wrong. Like, why'd you go through all of that to find that information out just to say I'm not um hating or nothing? But um, yes, you are. You are. You're hating. You know, like I can, I don't know. I can never like go digging on somebody then make some type of scandalous video. Like, I'm just not like that. I'm sorry. I, it just, it's not that serious. Like, I would never go and try to investigate some, what somebody is selling. Let them do their thing. You know, let them sell them daggone me seasonings. Like, why we always got to be hating on each other all the time? I just don't understand it. I really don't. <clears throat> Um, and, and, and just to let folks know y'all, like if you are like a, um, uh, an influencer or, you know, a creator that makes videos about like stuff like the police is doing and like, uh, you know, serious stuff like that. Y'all, I heard that the FBI is showing up on people's doorsteps, asking them about posts and stuff that they've made. Somebody recorded their um, interaction with these FBI uh, guys. Y'all, they are going around the folks' houses asking them about their post. Y'all, listen to this. This was a trip. I was like, what is going on? Why is this? Why is he at this man's house? That tripped me out. Um, if I could damn find it, I was just looking at it. Hold on, yeah, I was just looking at the shit. Oh, here you go. Y'all remember last year when we all collectively said that there's no way FBI agents would come and knock on our doors here in America about social media posts? Yes, they do. Well, I'm gonna play a video because that is exactly what is happening, and this is not the first video that I have seen. It is here, and they are knocking on our doors and asking us about what we're posting online, about our opinions. And I'm just going to play this video because this is a perfect example of how to handle it. Can you give your full name, please? Is that sufficient to identify as the only one O'Donnell affiliated with the FBI? Could you please say your full name, sir? He wouldn't get it home. No, it's first matter, right? What's your name, sir? They wouldn't show ID with their full name on it or nothing. <laughs> Sure there wasn't any threats. Kind of when you know laws aren't being broken, and that's an embarrassment, man. Didn't you guys read the Constitution? Do you not believe in America? <laughs> like, how do you do your jobs and go home? <laughs> You're walking away. Because nothing we did is against the law. We're no longer living in wow. a free country. We can't have opinions. We can't have freedom of thought, freedom of speech, critical that is thinking something anymore. Else. And if you post something and they fact check it, if you post something and they you know, label it as misinformation. Apparently, Hillary Clinton said, uh, suggests that jailing Americans for posting misinformation. Wowskers. I wonder when she said that. Um, let's see, what else did I want to tell y'all about? Um, oh, y'all, this one's messy. Okay, so, um, there's a team of lawyers out in uh, North Carolina 
um, working on, um, what is his name? Jabion, is that his name? Hold on. Yeah, Jabion um, McGee, okay? They are. They say there's, there's four renowned attorneys from across the nation come together to seek justice for Javion McGee, a 21-year-old truck driver found hanging from a tree in Henderson, North Carolina, and they're having a um, oh, excuse me. I, I always want to say conference. A uh, you know. Um, First of all, look, I would like to say. Um I'd like to thank Lee Mary, Harry Daniels, and Mr. Andrew Cummings for me. But come, you might ask why we're here. Accountability, transparency. Um, the community needs answers, and we're here to apply for I'm so glad they're there. Um, Lee has flown in from Texas, Harry's flown in from Georgia, I'm out of Greensboro, Cummings out of Raleigh. We're here for answers, mm -hmm. and we're not leaving until we get them. The family deserves them. And we've seen the videos, we've seen the photographs, and this investigation is not it's this not complete. investigation is too premature for any determination to be made what happened. What we want is we want answers. We want we want now, we want as soon as possible. Right now. We want the system to work because this family should not be in a position where they get a phone call about this young man coming into this county, working his job, mm -hmm. and that he's found hanging from a tree. Out of control. And the, 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 the pictures, it's just, it's horrible. And this county deserves to explain and spend the resources to let us know every detail of what happened. And that's what we're here for. And so I think Harry was right. I think Lee was right. So y'all, they are out there and they're going to make sure we find out what happened. He even said that um, he, they gonna have to, they going to have to spend the money to do this investigation. They're going to have to spend that money. Girl, I cannot wait to find out what really freaking happened. I cannot way because i know they gonna find it out i know um so y'all keep praying um for that family um let me see Shonda. oh they, they said that uh sean diddy combs y'all is on suicide watch suicide watch they said that he got somebody visiting him uh, every day, like uh, some type of a like counselor. I think breaking news oh, no. right now, Larry. I am just getting word. People Magazine says it's got a source on the inside that tells them that P Diddy's on suicide watch tonight. Do your sources confer uh, the same information? Are they uh, are they saying it was possible? Yeah, he is on suicide watch. This guy thought he would have went home. All of a sudden, he That's didn't he get thought, bond. Yeah. Remember the he first really night he, that he was there. He was like an overnight guest when they pulled his bond hearing. Now they checked him into the system, and reality has mm -hmm. hit him. And I understand that he has a shrink coming by his cell to see him several times a day. They have housing units, and they're mixing bank robbers, drug dealers, rapists with white collar people. And this is why Diddy he he can't go into a regular housing unit. Because somebody will take him out for sure. Okay. So, all right. One more, th one more, y'all. This is this the last topic. Even though this is not the last, but um. <clears throat> Bombshell doesn't seem like. GOP's Mark Robinson made lewd and disturbing comments on a porn site. Okay. This is on MSNBC. This is somebody that is running for office, y'all. And somebody that dug this up on him. And he is saying that it's not true and that he is going to keep running because people are telling him that he needs to drop out the race. This is embarrassing. But listen, y'all. The right word. A crazy piece of reporting has just dropped and it's led to calls for North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson to drop out of the race before this story even broke. People have known about it all day and now we have it. Now we know what it says. The reporting is from CNN. It has not at this point been independently verified by NBC News, but it says that Robinson made dozens of very disturbing comments on a porn site between 2008 and 2012 before he entered politics. 
The comments include Robinson, the current lieutenant governor, proclaiming that he is, quote, a black Nazi and saying he, what? quote, wishes they would bring slavery back. I would buy a few, end quote. Yeah. CNN also reports this, quote, the comments were made under a username that CNN was able to identify as Robinson's by matching a litany of biographical details in a shared email address. Many wow. of Robinson's comments were gratuitously sexual and lewd in nature. He reportedly describes himself as a, quote, perv and describes peeping on women in public gym showers. Now, even ahead of the story breaking, he issued a robust denial of the story and responded this afternoon ahead of it by posting this video. Well, let me reassure you, the things that you will see in that story, those are not the words of Mark Robinson. You know my words, you know my character, and you know that I have been completely transparent in this race and before. Clarence Thomas famously once said he was the victim of a high-tech lynching. Well, it looks like Mark Robinson is too, by a man who refuses to stand on stage and debate me about the real issues that face you. Instead, they want to focus on salacious tabloid lies. We're not going to let them do that. We are staying in this race. We are in it to win it. Okay, well, y'all, either, either it's true or somebody's trying to sabotage him. And maybe they want him to drop out the race. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know. So that's all I'm going uh, to say about that. Because I really don't know if that's true. Um, so um, the guy who, uh, remember I told y'all, this lady was just walking and somebody came up and it hit her with something. And I was telling y'all to be careful, be vi vi vigilant. I can't even say it. Anyway. Um, they arrested the guy. 36-year-old Antonio Banks him. is the man who Dallas police say brazenly and seemingly randomly bashed a woman over her head with a blunt object in downtown Dallas last Thursday afternoon and barely broke stride while walking away. According to an arrest warrant, the victim works at the George Allen Courts building off Commerce wow. Street. On Thursday, she began walking in downtown around 1 o'clock for her lunch break. She was unaware that Banks began following her. 14 minutes later, Security footage from a 7-Eleven off Elm Street shows Banks continuing to follow her. One minute later, the brutal footage shows Banks swinging a blunt object covered in a red garment, causing her to immediately fall to the ground, unconscious, resulting in multiple gashes and facial wow. fractures on the right side of her head. On Monday afternoon, mm -hmm. Banks was arrested for criminal trespassing. I am so glad that they caught him because the... Um, you know, when it was being filmed, you couldn't see what he looked like. At least I couldn't see what he looked like. Somebody must have, um, reported him. Um. And y'all? Oh, I wanted y'all to see this clip of this, of, you know, that, uh, balloon popping show. When I tell y'all. I am obsessed with that show. I feel like they need to take that show on on TV. What do y'all think? Cause it's it's really good. I feel it's a really good show. It's interesting. Every time I see a clip, I always watch it. But I just wanted y'all to see this. This man <laughs> popped his balloon on this girl because he thought that he was gonna like embarrass her or you know what i'm saying and she turned that around on his ass okay just and watch him i want y'all to see what he looked like and just the way he's acting it was almost like he wanted to go viral on that show that's that's how i felt like he it was like let me find a reason to pop my balloon so i could be irritated or say what i don't like you know like thirsty that's what it was given to me He popped his. He popped. Let's come Let's on go. over here. <laughs> so why did we end up popping Hubert? Um, the hesitation. Hubert. Like, I need my woman to be like, know what she want and make the decision. Also, um, there are a few things aesthetically that I don't like. Um, I'm not really big on like weave and if I can see a braid. Yeah, look at her. Uh, She's gorgeous. And then like, like the, I can see the bump in the back. Um, the braids. 
I, I can't stand men like that. And, um, the tooth. And the tooth, y'all. The, the tooth. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, is Hubert someone he needs that to you're be type? Slapped. I had a little hesitation yeah, when... No, I mean, he is someone that would be my type. I mean, I, just, again, based on the exterior, because I haven't heard anything from him yet. Yeah. Um, the dress code, yes. Uh, the demeanor on the facials, it's just giving I don't want to be here. Exactly. Um, but aside from that, um, yeah, he's somebody that I would probably... Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I'll go ahead and have you ask the two guys. A queen, I don't, I don't mind, cause he was so wrong with the braids. I don't, I, that, you want to take it off? Yeah. I mean, I mean, baby, you know, look at her. I mean, why can't I? Honey, she is bad <laughs> from head to toe. Literally, okay. bad from head to toe. This fool was nitpicking. He knew. Did y'all see her? <laughs> I know y'all saw her. Honey, she took that wig off. Nobody thought she was going to do that. Honey, she was cute with the wig and without the wig. Did you see how laid her hair was? It was almost like she knew she was going to have to take that wig off. Girl. I was like, honey, that's the way you take your wig off. <laughs> that is the way you take your wig off. Girl, I was living for that. <coughs> he was completely wrong. It wasn't no braids up under her freaking uh, wig. Not one braid. Um, I, I can see that. I can see that braid. Mm -hmm. And 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 oh, in oh, the tooth, girl. I see. She was so mature, <clears throat> and she was so mature to, to where she admitted that he would be her type. I wouldn't have. I would be like, nah, I'm good. You know, I would have. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, I would have. Like, he wouldn't have got that satisfaction out of knowing that I probably would have talked to him. Absolutely not. Fool. Trying to embarrass me. And the tooth. Girl, I wish somebody would have slapped him, I swear. It's so freaking annoying. Anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. Somebody, I sent somebody a message with my voice on Instagram. And I was like, oh, my gosh, that's how you sound. <laughs> anyway. um, But, yeah, I wanted y'all to see that. Because what? It, look at him. Like, girl. Anyway. Um, y'all, that big bag meal, honey, it was everything. 40 out of 10. 40 out of 10 for the win. Okay? Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Make sure y'all follow me on the family vlog channel. Y'all have to hurry up. Oh, my God. I, have to, I literally have to go right now. They're going to be closing in a few minutes. Um, what's I gonna say? Oh my god. Um, follow me on my um cooking channel, cooking keto with the yummy bites. Everything is linked in the description box under everything yummy bites TV. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already for everyday videos, everyday videos. Hey, uh 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 uh. Hey, uh uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.